Hey everybody, this is Joel Toppin here. I got a package in the mail from GMT Games. And inside this is a long-awaited 25th anniversary edition of Silver Bayonet. Now, if memory serves, and I could be wrong on this, if this wasn't the first GMT game ever, then it was one of the first GMT games ever. And I remember last year, uh, summer of 2015, I was in the process of moving cross-country, and I had to downsize my game collection a bit in order to make that move. And this was one of the copies I knew that there was a new edition coming out. So I, I actually sold my, my first edition uh, to make space for the move. And so I, I do not have a, a first edition laying around to show you side by side the difference. And uh, so I'm sorry about that, but uh, had to be done. Anyways, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a look inside the box and I'll try to remember how uh, the first edition looked by comparison. First thing, the cover has definitely uh, been modernized. I love the cover. They, this, this is one of the best covers GMT uh, has done in a while. This, this one really just jumps out at me. And I mean, it's, I'm not saying that any of GMT covers stunk or anything, but this one here is a really, really good cover. I love this cover. The original edition, if memory serves, was a lot like Fire in the Sky or Fire in the Lake, where it was uh, very dark, like black sunset and silhouetted helicopters. And for its time, it looked really good. But it's you look at it now, and it's it's dated. So this is this has definitely been given a facelift, a modernization, and that's nice. Uh, it's definitely heavy duty. This is one of those. Uh, types of boxes that is you know it could be weaponized so definitely heavy duty box inside we find a bag of uh, baggies GMT baggies you know I gotta say this I don't like the giant baggies I would prefer the smaller baggies it's better for organization but all right there I said it Okay, rule book definitely a step up here as well. Uh, first edition was all black and white. I believe it was three columns and looked like it had been done on a typewriter. So this is definitely an improvement over the first edition. So this is this is super super nice. I also do not remember seeing silhouette of, of the helicopters on the first edition. I think they were they were very plain Jane the counters. Um, I think they're just two colors. Green and black for the USA and red and black and I don't remember what the VC were. Maybe black and yellow or something like that. But they were just two color uh, counters. So these are definitely improved counters. The rule book is the um, it, it's, it's going to be full color. It is weighing in at about what? about 27 pages for the core rules. The rest of the rule book is going to be scenario information. It's not that complex of a game. I would say medium complexity. And uh, so that's what you got here. It is not semi-gloss. This is the, this is the, uh, I can't even think of the term of it now, but these are the nice, this is the nice paper. It's not semi-glossy. It's just, it's just a really nice print type and it's not going to, you know, pick up that sheen from the lighting. Uh, it's just got a great feel to it. Love the rule book. All right, we have a battle board. Now, it's been a long time since I played the first edition, so I can't really... I don't remember this. I don't remember if this was a thing or not. Um, yeah, I don't remember having this in the first edition. But these are cardstock, and you got one of those. There is a player aid card. FWA player card. This has got your helicopter basing, ground units at Anke, air points. It's cool, one sided. So, now this box was, I should say something about the box too. The box was exceptionally heavy. I'm thinking this has got to have a mounted board in it to justify all that weight. Um, you have hidden movement for the, uh, the Vietnamese. There is a standard sequence of play, and on the back side of it, there are crib notes for 
special units. Hey, that's that's really nice. When you have Chrome rules, hey publishers, when you got Chrome rules, this is great. This is fantastic. I like that. Uh, there's your campaign sequence of play. And more crib notes, I think. These are identical on the back. So. Trying to hold the camera as steady as I can. I don't have enough hands. All right, here are scenario cards. That's cool. The first edition definitely didn't have this. Plays were pretty sparse in the first edition as well. So you have scenario cards front and back, and there are a few of these. So there's two. Three of those. Show you another one here. You know what uh, is is neat about this game is it screams out to me, uh, punch this game and play it as soon as possible. Which is unfortunate because I have no time to spare to do that. I just barely have time to shoot this video. Okay, I'm just going to speed up the process because I can feel now that there are a lot of cards in this. I mean, a lot of cards in this. So there are more scenario cards. And they just keep on coming. Boy, when they said Deluxe Anniversary Edition, they were not kidding. This is fantastic. All right, now this looks to be like your basic charts for the game. Bifolded, uh, 11 by 17. And there are two identical ones. So there you go, one for each player. What is this goodness? All right, this is so cool. So here is a uh, little fold out thing with a marching song, National Anthem of Vietnam. And on the back is just some artwork. Just an extra little goodie thrown into the game. And there's Gary Owen and hey this is really cool. It's like a tribute to the soldiers on both sides of that conflict. This is really neat. I like it. Okay inside we have the the what's now become um, pretty standard uh, heavy-duty counters. Uh, thicker brown core and there is a sheet mostly markers here. And I cannot express to you what a step up in quality this is from first edition, but it is it is fantastic. And then here is the counters for the game. Those look really, really nice. Let's see how they line up on the back. This is the moment of truth here. Looks like they line up pretty good, so excellent. Nice to know. So there is your your military units. The artwork is, um, if there's a way to compare the artwork, it, it looks a lot like the Next War series in terms of style and layout. Uh, in terms of gameplay, this is going to be this is different than Next War series, but the layout of the counters is reminiscent. Okay, we definitely have a mounted board. So let me unpack this. I want to lay this out and show it to you. So give me just a moment and we'll come back to that. Okay, so this is the map. And it is definitely way, way, way better than the first edition. First edition is very, very plain. Uh, and, and it's kind of hard to read. And this is a this is definitely a step up from that. So there's your landing zone X-ray and Albany. There's the highways and stuff here. It, this looks really, really good. So I can't, can't praise this map highly enough. This is fantastic. So let me kind of zoom out here and show you the whole thing. So there you go. It's it's going to be a full, um, a full poster size. I'm having trouble getting this thing to focus for some reason. That's tricking out the camera. Uh, it's a full poster size mounted board. And so you're going to need that plus a little extra space for the play aids uh, that have, you know, hidden movement and things like that. So that'll give you an idea of the table space required. And uh, definitely a deluxe edition. Very, very impressive. Brand new GMT games. 
And uh, I'm Joel Toppin, and that's what comes inside the box.